Hi! Good morning, everybody! Welcome to your first jubilant Saturday of February. Saturday, February 4th, 2023. Episode 980, part 1 today, for this one. And yes, I'm inside. Somebody know that we had a, a front come in some yesterday during the day and it's a little bit too cool for me to sit on the, the front in the front room to do my normal business on strain just to get two videos recorded for today. So you have to deal with me. Maybe the somebody know we had a, we had a rain some rain bands come in and it was it was cool it was comfortable before the rain and then that rain just made it cold. So it means to say I'm having to be inside because it's cold. A little bit too cool out there in that front room. Because in that front room the, some of the windows are open so it stays cold out there. So when it gets cold you can't do do anything out there. So I have to do it in here. I have to, I have to strain just to get videos recorded so but today we're gonna be in this one we're gonna be talking about passing over to the other side beginning with mark 435 from jeffrey p tompkins so, excited about this will smash the like button and liking the video will help out if you like the video it helps it out a lot Remember the like challenge, four likes only on five videos from the Daily Devo list and five videos from the Turning Points at four likes only. Or go to the, the um, Ten Commandments um, video playlist and watch all them and put them at four likes only. Such a, it's an easier task because there's 10 videos. If all I want is 10 videos, either 5 and 5 from each list or from the 10 commandments, all 10 at 4 likes only. So, you do that for me, I will, it would, it would be a, it would be a good thing for you to do that. Because the more likes you put on these videos, the more help it gets. So, Okay. How was your Friday yesterday, and what are your what are your weekend plans going to be? Let me know. But subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications. Share the video channel with your family and friends. Help me reach that 100 subscriber mark for my birthday, April the 18th. And I will greatly appreciate each and every one that helps me get there. Because I'm at 35 or 36. I just can't remember. I can't. I can't. I can't get it to. It keeps saying 35. But the person from a couple days ago said he was 36. I don't know. If they, if he said 36, there must have been one that was had unsubscribed. Somewhere. So. Or he just had to hit the wrong button when he wrote subscribe. We, he was sub at the time when he it says sub 36, but either he hit the wrong button or somebody had unsubscribed after he subscribed. So before, before it could register that he subscribed. So, but whatever it is, what. But, um, but passing over to the other side, Mark 435. <clears throat> it's hard to, wait a minute, let me see if I can turn that light down just, oops, there. That light was right up, up here and it blinded me a little bit. He said unto them, let us pass over unto the other side. So after a long day of ministry, Christ commanded his disciples, let us pass over to the other side, knowing full well 
what would come to pass. Excuse me. Voice is cracking. There we go. Sounds better. So the story after this verse is a lesson we should take to heart. We cannot expect everything to be smooth on the waters of life in our journeys to heaven. So in other words, sickness, loss, and disappointment afflict all his children in this fallen world. But through affliction, we are taught many important lessons. And as the story continues, there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And Jesus was in the hinder part, the lower part, of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awaked him and said unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? Verse 37 and 38. So indeed we might also be in a threatening place. Christ is right there in the boat with us. And I know in that part of the story, when they say that, Jesus got up, walked out to the edge of the, the railing on the boat, held his hand up, and that's where he said, peace, be still. I love, I love that part, just, just that one point. Those water storms was raging. Oh, it was violent, thrashing. The boat was about to be capsized and all would perish. But Jesus has walked out there, held his hand up and said, peace, be still. And the waters calmed, the storm cleared, and the boat was saved. <laughs> just like, just from a word, everything was okay. <laughs> so in fact, the situation in Mark's gospel must have been extremely threatening because at least four of the disciples were experienced fishermen and had known the Sea of Galilee and its storms from their youth. But he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. I didn't realize they were going to automatically say it. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? Verse 39 and 40. So I got ahead, I got ahead of the story. Sorry about that. But by affliction we are shown our weakness, which we need God to strengthen. So all of our trials wean us from the world, make us long for heaven, and cause us to seek Christ's help. And lastly, Psalm 119, verse 71, declares, It is good for me that I have been afflicted. Amen? So that's all I have for you today. Coming up tomorrow in your first glorious Lord's Day Sunday. February the 5th, 2023. We will, we'll, we will be talking about episode 981, part 1. And if you take that 981 and put the 1 in front of the 9 to make it 1981, you have my birth. My birth year. That's just so neat about what that number is. So, But we will be learning about from darkness to light. Our beginning passage is Genesis 1, 3 and, 3 and 4, which will be involved in the, will be added to the Genesis playlist, the Genesis Journey playlist from Henry M. Morse. So stay tuned for that. I'll get to that later tonight or sometime later today. It might be later tonight. Sometime before midnight. But um, 
stay tuned to see what that's going to be tomorrow after 8. So, with that said, I love you. appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on trusting God and he'll keep you safe. And all you say to you in 2023 and beyond. And until later, peace out, everybody. So long, farewell. Come back later after 545 for part two of episode 980. The only other video today. And we will be talking about our daily bread passage. What's your name? From Mike Whitmer, derived from Luke or uh, Ruth, Ruth, one three through eight and fifteen through twenty-one. So stay tuned for that. I'll get to that in just a few minutes, but you'll see that later after five forty-five. So with that said, God bless everyone. God bless America in twenty twenty-three and in twenty twenty-three, and I'll see you. Later. <laughs> so until then, me and Baby Yoda, we out until this evening. So we'll see you this afternoon after 545 this evening for the only other video of the day. So until then, goodbye.